Chandrayaan-2 has sent its first pictures of the Earth. This was, of course, uh, uh, after the successful launch of India's second lunar mission on the 23rd of July. The lunar mission uh, has sent the first set of pictures of the Earth. It's expected uh, to, in fact, uh, All right, uh, my colleague uh, Shivya joining us with more at this point. Shivya, uh, take us through uh, uh, the latest. Uh, we believe Chandrayaan 2 has sent back first images of the Earth. Let's also clarify for our viewers that there were a few images doing the rounds on the social media a few days ago which were found to be fake. It's only now that the first set of real pictures taken by Chandrayaan 2 of the Earth have come in. Yes, absolutely, Neha. So, uh, ISRO has finally revealed the first uh, set of uh, pictures of Earth and uh, they have shared the pictures on Twitter. So, let me show you the pictures directly first. So, this was the first picture that ISRO uh, shared. And just look at uh, the uh, image of the Earth uh, from this angle. Perhaps they have shared uh, three, four pictures from different angles. And one of the pictures, as you can see, uh, the, top, the, top, uh, the top face of the Earth and again, this third picture that the ISRO shared on Twitter just a few minutes ago. So, ISRO has finally, I mean, officially revealed uh, the uh, pictures of Earth on uh, Twitter and uh, the reactions are coming uh, from people are absolutely there. They are actually amazed uh, in, you know, expressing uh, their feeling after watching the first picture of the Earth. Uh, saying that it's beautiful and just out of the world now india loving the isro so you know the kind of reactions that are coming from people are just amazing and it is obviously a sight to behold uh, as chandrayaan 2 uh, you know has clicked the picture of the earth and also i would like to uh, I, I would like to tell you that uh, india's second mission to the moon uh, successfully carried out its fourth orbit uh, on friday and uh, the orbit, uh, you know, raising maneuver places a spacecraft in a higher orbit. So now, uh, the the images of the Earth have finally come, and you know, we just cannot wait uh, for the landing of the Chandrayaan two on the moon. All right, stay with us, uh, Shivya. We'll come back to you, uh, uh, Dr. G. Madhavan, former ISRO chief, joining us on the phone line at this point, sir. Expectations from Chandrayaan 2 are very high. The launch was, of course, successful on the 23rd of June. Now we're looking at the first set of pictures of Earth that Chandrayaan 2 has beamed back. And, of course, what people are waiting for with bated breath is the soft landing on the lunar surface, which is expected uh, sometime in early September. Your thoughts, sir? Well, I'm extremely happy that Chandrayaan 2 mission is progressing as planned. And uh, results so far are uh, uh, extremely satisfactory. Normally, this uh, phase, uh, the ground team will be calibrating the trajectory and also making some precise calculation as to how to uh, approach the moon at the right time and the right distance. And uh, parallelly, you know, there will be a lot of uh, uh, checkout operations on the onboard camera. And uh, it's a good thing that they have released a picture of... Uh, the planet Earth, as seen by the Chandrayaan uh, from a long distance. Uh, I think it must be very interesting because I had the opportunity to see a similar picture uh, way back in uh, 2008. And uh, it's uh, really, you know, it's like uh, uh, flying in the uh, uh, space station and then looking at the Earth. Uh, so it's a, it's a real uh, different view altogether. Of course, we have the image of a uh, moon from here. Uh, now, the uh, Earth image from Moon is going to be another exciting one, and this is only a, a sort of a demonstrator. But uh, I'm still uh, uh, anxiously looking forward to uh, getting into the lunar orbit and then uh, carrying out this uh, very difficult operation of soft landing on the Moon. Uh, we pray for the success of the mission, and I'm sure with this source uh, hard work and well-made uh, well planning, we'll be able to achieve in time. 
Right. Also, so would it be correct to say that while uh, countries like the US, Russia and China have sent lunar missions successfully in the past, it's the first time that uh, any country will be sending, uh, uh, you know, will be actually making a soft landing on the South Pole of the moon. And why do you think it is so complex that no other country has managed to achieve it so far? Uh, well, I think earlier the interest by some of these countries were looking at the minerals and other deposits in the equatorial region. But uh, uh, since our last mission, we have uh, confirmed that uh, the presence of water is more near the polar region. So that's one reason. The second one is, uh, you know, the uh, polar region, and the temperatures are relatively less. So later, if we want to establish some station, uh, that location becomes really attractive, and exploring that to be of great interest. Uh, thirdly, of course, uh, helium-3 and other minerals, if you can spot there, and make a rough quantitative and qualitative assessment, uh, that will help us uh, for uh, future uh, exploration of the moon. All right, and uh, also, sir, once the soft landing has happened, which is expected sometime in the first week of September, what do you think we can really expect next as far as Chandrayaan 2 and his journey is concerned? Uh, well, I think uh, that is going to be a most crucial phase after landing on the moon. We have about uh, 14 days left with us. In the 14 days, we have to conduct all the planned experiments. Uh, I understand uh, this rover will be moving around for a distance of nearly 500 meters from the landing site. And uh, many places in spot, uh, in situ measurement of the mineralogy, the water, and uh, so on will be carried out by the rover. And the data will be relayed to the mother spacecraft to the ground. So that is going to be the most challenging as well as the most useful uh, period of the mission because we have uh, remote sensing data from the last mission. And this man also will carry out a similar remote sensing operation for almost two years. But uh, this uh, uh, spot experiment, in situ experiment, is going to be most exciting and we are looking forward to that. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.